Hello everybody, right here, right now, I put the F around and we will continue our learning of the language. Our English language right now is uh, learning in the dormitory, dormitory learner or something like this. Network of nerves is our topic for today, yes, and uh, we're gonna learn it uh, and uh, other things we will learn from the Our Human Body Encyclopedia. Yes, it's not Wikipedia, it's the encyclopedia for everybody who want to be a cosmonaut, astronaut or maybe some of the medicine or English native person. Let's start. Network of nerves. All of the body contains nerve cells. This uh, link up to form the network of nerves we call the nervous system. It transports messages between the body and the brain. What is pink and the brain? Brain. Here Break. A good night's sleep. Uh, your body and brain slow down when you sleep, but they don't stop working. Your brain needs sleep to sort out the events of the previous day. Your knee jumps forward even though your brain hasn't told it to move. Cross your legs and tap just below the knee. Cross your leg and tap just below the knee. Okay. No need to think. You do something without needing to think about them. They are called reflex action and include blinking, coating, and the knee jerk reflex. Wow. Quick as a flash, nerve cells lie next to one another, forming long chains. They pass messages to their neighbors, rather like a speedy relay race to end uh, from the brain. Brain cells viewed through a microscope, okay, the spinal cord the center of the network, and which is the longest nerve in your body? I think that is inside of our uh, legs. What's the question? The one running from your big toe and to the base of your spine. From toy? Yes, and... Message travels faster than a high-speed train. Good. You've got 150,000 kilometers of nerves in your body. Wow. Jesus. It's really big. Pins and needles. Sitting cross-legged for a long time squash the nerves in your legs when you stand up. The nerves start to work again, producing a tiny feeling. Okay. Messages. Your brain controls your body. It receives messages from all parts of your body. Okay. Body and decided, decides, and decides what to do. It. Walking is the result of your brain telling your legs muscles to move. Hunger is your stomach telling your brain that it's empty and you must eat. Needing to urinate is a response to the message that your bladder is full. Itching is an uh, irritating feeling your body reacts by making your scratch. Pain gets a very quick response, you move away from what's hurting you. Blinking happens without you needing to think about it. Breathing is automatic too. It carries on even when you are it carries on even when you are asleep. Touch feely. Merkel's disc correspond to light touch and it's sensitive to the texture of the things. Meiser's carpuscle senses light touch. Okay, your skin is uh, is in immediate contact with the world. Using your sense of touch allows you tell to tell if something is hot or cold, dull or sharp, rough or smooth, or wet or dry. Not worth noticing. Also, your brain receives messages all the time. It filters out filters out the less important ones. That's why you're not constantly aware to the clothes again against your skill. It feels slimy. That's why you're not exactly aware of the clothes. Ah, okay. Not what not seeing. That's all the time. Things we can feel. Skin is packed with many sense receptors. Each sort responds to different sensations. Warmth is decayed 
dedicated by nerve endings quite close to the surface of the skin. Cold is felt by different sensors to heat. Extreme cold registers as pain. Deep touch sensors enable you to grip things tightly. Light touch sensors lie at the root of hair on your arms and legs. Vibrations from an electric drill trigger vibration sensors. Tiki. Feeling result from a light and expect unexpected touch. Tiki. Tickly. Sensitive fingertips full of receptors are able to tell coins apart. How many touch receptors are in fingertip? I think that more than million. No, less. Maybe more than thousand. This girl quickly moves her finger away from the thorn to stop the pain. Ouch! The body has its own system of alarm bells. Pain receptors warn us when a part of the body has been hurt or is about to be harmed. Free nerve ending respond to heat, cold and pain. The refine ending responds to firm on continuous touch, surface of skin, der dermis fat. Under the skin, dead cells form the surface of your skin. Below that lie sweat glands, hair follicles, hair follicles and different types of sensory receptors. The Pechinian corpuscle responds to firm pressure and vibration. The message shoots off to the brain, touchy feely. Shoots off to the brain. Sensitive beats. Skin contains more touch receptors than any other part of the body, but some areas are more sensitive than other. Fingertips are packed with sensor, especially light pressure receptors. Lips have very thin skin, which is good at detecting heat and cold. Toes are very sensitive, but thick skin makes the heel less sensitive. About 3000 inside of our fingertip. Reading by touch. Braille is a system that uses raised dots to represent letters and numbers. Numbers. It was invented so that people with bad eyesight would be able to read by filling the page with their fingertips and sip of looking at word. Birds. Braille was invented over 150 years ago. Bird. Okay. Interesting. Put one th finger in cold water, one in hot, then put both in warm water. The water feels cold to the hot water finger and hot to the cold water finger. Both in warm. Ah, okay. Hot, warm. Taste and smell. We need to eat and drink to survive, but taste and smell are what make this everyday activity so enjoyable. Taste detector. Your tongue is a big muscle covered in clusters of taste buds. Each cluster recognizes a particular kind of taste. Sour, sweet, salt, bitter. Okay. Different tastes. There are five types of taste. Bitter, sour, salty, sweet and umami. Umami is the savory taste of food like soy sauce and mushrooms. Umami. How it how it how it feels I don't know umami category of taste I don't know what is bitter foods such as coffee can be bad for you most poisons are bitter sour food include lemon and vinegar food that had gone off taste sour salt detecting taste bird buds can be found on the lips as well as on the tongue. Sweet food natural attract to you. Our first food milk is sweet. Ten thousand tastes buds are cramped onto your tongue. Taste buds. Taste buds, what is? Ah, okay. Taste buds, saliva, saliva in your mouth dissolves your food. The food washes over tiny taste buds between the bumps on your tongue. Taste buds recognize different flavors. 
try putting sugar on different places on your tongue. It tastes sweeter in some places than other. Now try salt, lemon juice and coffee. Okay, thank you so much for recommendation. I, I maybe will do this sometime. Your noise, your nose and mouth and linked at the throat. Runny nose. When you have a cold, tiny hairs in your nose get clogged with mucus. This stop with clogged, clogged mucus. What is? Mucus. Mucus. This stops them wetting small particles deep into your nose and makes it difficult to smell and taste things. Sen sensitive nose. Much of what we think of as taste is actually smell. The back of your nose is linked to your mouth so you can smell your food as you chew it. To your mouth so you can smell your food as you chew it. The back of your nose. Wow, interesting. Really? Some noses can recognize 10 different smells. Smell receptors, special cells deep inside your nose, recognize scent particles floating in the air. These cells link directly to your brain. Look out! Pupil, iris, sclera, or white of the eye. Sclera. Look out! Sight is the body main sense and the main main sense and the main way we learn about our surroundings. Two-thirds of the information we take in comes from our eye. Wandering eyes. Six muscles control each eye. You use both eyes when you look at something, so your eyes move together. The muscles surrounding your eyeball make precise movement so you can smoothly track moving object. And iris is a unique as fingerprint. Iris. Okay. At night our eyes could detect a lighted candle away. 1.6 kilometers. People eyelid. Iris. Slara. Hidden away. Most of your eyes nestled safely in its socket and is protected by pads of fat. On the outside you can see their ears, pupil and some of the sclera. What is sleep that collects in our eyes? Sleeps? Sleep. What is the sleep that collects in our eyes? Sleep? The sleep? I don't know what is. The sleep. What is? Dust? Oh, okay. Tears are made behind each eye. Eyelid. Tears drain into tears ducts. This link to your nose, which is why your nose runs when you cry. Okay, safekeeping. Your eyes are fragile. Now I understand that our nose connected with our eyes and uh, when we are when we are crying, we are we are half watering in your nose too. Safekeeping. Your eyes are fragile sque squidgy balls made of watery jelly, so they need to be well protected. Bone in your skull surrounds your brain and the back of the eyes. Eyebrows sit about your eyes and prevent sweat dripping into them. Eyelids and lashes stop dust entering entering eyelids. Okay. Dust entering the eyes and then sweep it will away. Your pupils change size automatically. Either it's dark or e or this person has seen something they like. Has seen something they like. Okay, tear glands behind your eyes produce drops or salty fru fluid. When you blink your eyelids, sweep this fluid over your eyes to keep them clean. If something gets into your eye, our you feel, you feel strong emotion. The drops turn into floods 
of tears. Eye color. The iris is the colored part of the eye. All eye colors are produced by one substance, melanin. Lots of melanin results in brown eye. Less means a lighter shade. I don't understand it fully. Pupil size. The pupil is the opening that controls opening that controls how much light enters your eye. It's smaller in bright light to protect the nerve self in your eye and the and bigger in dim light so let more light in. It also gets bigger when you see something or someone you like. How we see inside your eye is a lens like the lens of a camera. Camera. Its its job is to focus lights on the back of your eye so you can see things clearly. Light reflects light reflects off and an object and it enters your eye. An object. The pupil is a hole that lets light into the eye. The lens is clear clear and flexible. It focuses on things by changing shape. The eye is filled with Learn is clear and flexible. It's focused on things by changing shape. The eye is filled with a semi-solid jelly. Optic nerve. Okay. The retina contains cells that sense light. Seeing in color. Your, your eyes contain millions of cells. Con, con cells give uh, you color vision but don't work well in dim light. Red cells work well in dim light, but see everything in shades of gray. How your eyes work. Light from an object enters your eye through the pupil. It passes through the lens and makes an upside-down image on the retina at the back of your eye. Cells in your eye send messages down the optic nerve to your brain. Your brain flips the image back the right way around. Blurry vision. Sometimes an eyeball is their own shape. Oh, what is an eye specialist who tests eyesight cold? Is uh, I forget is an opti optician. Okay, blue revision. Sometimes an eyeball is the wrong shape. The lens cannot focus light on the retina, and everything is blurry. Glasses retina. What is? Ah, retina. Retina. Retina and everything is blurry. Glasses make the light focus in the right place to make things clear. Short eyeball. If you have a short eyeball, you will have difficult seeing things close up. This things close up. This is called long side tightness. Long eyeball. Is it difficult to see objects that are far away when your eyeball is too long? This is known as short sightedness. Close one eye and hold the finger in front of your nose, open that eye and close the other one. The fingers appear to move. Each eye sees things differently. Yeah. Exactly. Definitely. Color blind. Oh, can I see a number? If not, you may be color blind. 50. Color blind. Some people cannot tell certain colors apart, especially red and green. This is called color blindness. It is more common in men than women. Women. Glasses bend the light entering your eyes so it focuses on their retina. Contact glasses. This work. This work like mini glasses and sit directly in front of the eye. They're a bit fiddly, but once they're in you can't feel them at all. Contact, le contact lenses are made of very thin plastic. Eye to brain. We will learn in the same time in the next time. Thanks so much for reading today's human body encyclopedia. Today we learned that we have many nervous if uh, we will if we will uh, if we will how to say it restegut in the russia if we will if we will stretch 
our nervous to the distance, it will be more than 150 thousands kilometers. It's a really big number. And I really want to say that, oh my gosh, it's really big. And thanks so much for watching, by the way. Everybody knows what is right now. One moment. Uh, what's I? Yes, uh, smell, taste, touch, feel. It. And uh, again, one you've got, oh, of nervous in your body. A really big number. Really, super big. And next time, in the next time, we will learn about eye to brain information. Yes, see you in the next time. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Improve yourself daily. Be cool, be strong. And don't forget to increase your vocabulary, increase your grammar, and increase your reading skills, especially. Bye.